Hi everyone, Adam here on behalf of the Women's Rugby Show. Firstly, before we get into this video, I just want to say, first of all, I hope you're all safe and sound, and that includes your friends, your family, your teammates. And I secondly just want to say just a big, big thank you to everyone out there who is doing their bit to help fight the coronavirus, whether you're part of the amazing NHS team or anyone else in the emergency services, whether you're doing all you can to help from a, a volunteering standpoint, whether you're helping uh, old friends or, or rel older friends or older relatives, or even if you're just someone who wants to help but doesn't really know how and, and you're doing the best you can, which is stay inside. So. These are really difficult times um, and everything around the sport is secondary to making sure that yourself, your friends, your family, the whole world is safe from what's happening at this time. I'm really pleased and really excited to launch a brand new content series here for the Women's Rugby Show which is called Premier 15's Ultimate Team. It's based on a popular video game, some of you may have seen it, some of you may have even played it, where the athletes in the game have their own ranking based on their attributes, which are worked out by a whole complex system of, of statisticians and um, computer programs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a male equivalent of this game, but there are no female athletes in this game. So us here on the Women's Rugby Show, we're all about pushing women's rugby, women's sport. So what we've done is we've created our own version. We have taken eight key stats and we've asked players from the Premier 15s what they think their rating should be. So in terms of stats, we've asked them uh, to say what they think they are in pace, strength, handling, that includes passing and catching, defense, that includes positioning and tackling, kicking, course we will know what that includes skill which incorporates vision footwork that kind of thing set pieces line outs scrums I guess for backs that will be back moves uh, stamina as well which includes work rate and all these will be tallied up to give these players an average score very exciting, never been done before. At the end of it, we are gonna get our own graphic. The players will get their own graphics as well that they can post on social media. They wouldn't have seen it yet until the show that they record. And I'm really excited. We've got our very first one here today. And at the end, each player will nominate their next player, whether it be a teammate at international or club level, to nominate. So without further ado, very excited to get this started. The first ever episode of Premier 15's Ultimate Team is going to feature none other than Harlequins, Women and Scotland number eight, Jade Conkle. Right, Jade Conkle, hello, welcome. Hello. How are you doing? How's, how's self-isolation slash quarantine? Um, you know, got major cabin fever, but we're all in the same boat, so coping every day at a time. Yeah, it must be quite difficult, especially from your side of things, because you're you're outside of rugby. You're a personal trainer, right? You've got your own uh, your own company. Yeah, like I'm a person that's active every minute of the day. Like I always like to be doing something. So when you're stuck in a place, it's definitely a challenging time. But I've been filming lots of workouts um, at home and both, you know, down in the Locks car park, um, all the views, um, just to put on my Apex page to kind of help people get a bit fitter and try and stay active, especially during these times, like trying to just maintain like health, get people moving and stuff. So been really good. It's definitely tested my imagination to come up below to different workouts and obviously means I've got to practice what I preach and I've got to do all these workouts so definitely getting my fair share that I'm probably going to be the fittest I've ever been when we come out of this lockdown so so there's definitely positives. Well, I've been posting them on my Apex Instagram page so it's apex.evolution and um, for the company Apex Training and Performance and um, so it's on my bio in my own personal Instagram as well so go give it a look if you want to do any of the workouts have a little shot and then don't be afraid to post your selfies or your videos with the little hashtags that I've included as well. 
Nice, absolutely. And you've had a bit of a you've had a bit of a weird few months, haven't you? Because obviously Scotland's Six Nations were almost non-existent. You know, apart from the you know a very blustery, snowy game um, up in Scotland as well, and then games being called off left, right, and centre. Um, and then you must be looking forward to get back into things with with Harlequins, and then the season's completely called off. So how do you, how did you see it from your point of view? Yeah, like it's obviously been difficult. It's been a real test of mental resilience. But like I said before, everyone's in the same boat. All the nations are in the same boat and there's a much bigger picture here. Um, obviously, we want everybody to be safe. All the protocols were put in place and we've been informed every step of the way. So that's really helped us all cope with it as well. And it's definitely something that's brought us all together. Um, we can't like not everyone's been through this kind of experience in their life. Um, if any of us so it's a new experience for everyone but as long as we keep you know checking in on each other making sure we're all, all right and again like I said we'll just keep taking each day at a time and things will get better and um, so yeah just got to stay positive in this time and know that things will end up getting back to normal hopefully sooner rather than later absolutely I echo those sentiments entirely well look let's um let's go on to the the reason why we're here as you know we started a brand new content series on the Women's Rugby Show called Premier 15's Ultimate Team. We'll start off at the very beginning with Pace. Now, Pace, you've <laughs> given friend, yourself... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pace is all... Pace is, like, you know, you're known for your pace. So you've given your, yourself 75. Yeah. Which is... That's pretty high. That's not bad. That's pretty high. I mean, you know, if we're, if we're comparing the likes of, let's say, your, your Scotland colleague, Rona Lloyd... Yeah, I just walk out in a race, but yeah, you yeah. absolutely just annihilate. You turn on the jet. So why why did you pick seventy five then? Um, well, I kind of put Rona at like a hundred. So you know, if I was gonna work down from there, um, I'd like to say when I get going, I can pick up a little bit of pace, few and far between. Like this isn't repeated efforts. This is just a one off. Um, I can bust a gut for one off, and then maybe die in the corner for the rest of it. But I thought 75 was a fair representation. Just like, I'm all right when I get going, but it's very few and far between. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've got open field in front of you and you just thought, at this time, I really wish I was faster? Um, so yeah, there's been a few times I've made a break and in my head, I'm coming up to the fullback and I'm like, you're going to step her, just step her. Like you've got the pace, you've made a break. And I just I freeze and I still run straight into them. Um, so, you know, I'm going to say that stunts my pace. Um, you know, that it's a roadblock, but, you know, we get through it. Um, so, yeah, definitely in those occasions, I wish I was a bit more faster. Um, so then maybe I could just, you know, outrun the 15. But, you know, you pick your battles. Is it actually possible to increase your speed, whatever sport you play? Yeah, definitely. Like there's so many different drills you can do, different running mechanics. And again, practice, like practicing those accelerations, you know, different starts. Um, it's definitely possible. Um, we try and do speed sessions a few times a week just to kind of practice getting those efforts in. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting running, actually. There's so much to it and a lot more than, you know, just going out for a jog. And um, there's definitely lots of mechanics behind it, um, which I find super interesting. So maybe one day I'll get a bit faster. <laughs> yeah keep keep working at it okay well moving on to your next attribute i thought this was going to be quite high this one you've put 92 for strength that, yeah that, i'm not surprised that at all that that is something that i think you would probably be very very high up the list for is that something you've always been as you as you started playing that's something you've always been aware of or that's something you've worked on or um, so like definitely when I started playing rugby I hadn't really been to the gym I didn't really know what to do in the gym so I definitely wasn't in a position like I am now um, but over the last you know x amount of years I've definitely put a lot of time and effort into the gym to kind of build up my strength and um, which I think has been massive and I think that's obviously a big part of my game is to be a lot stronger in ball carries etc and um, so it's definitely something I've worked on uh, so I wanted to vote quite high on it obviously everything's relative um, me and Rona Lloyd, speaking of uh, pace before, actually used to have a bench press competition. Um, we used to say the first one get, that gets to 100 wins, um, but then we both did our shoulders. So we've never <laughs> still managed to get there, but we're close, we're close. So maybe we'll get to redo that one again. Um, I think I'm just beating her, so um, hopefully hopefully I'll still get to beat her at that as soon as she beats me at pace. So we'll see. What are you currently on? Uh, so my one rep max is 95. 
Um, so hopefully one day we'll get up to the 100. All right, moving on then. So handling. So this, this includes um, this includes catching, obviously, passing as well. You've put 82. Yeah. That's, that's decent, I would say. That's I was decent. being generous. <laughs> I, was be- I was being generous. Um, you know, a few sunny bills here and there back in the day. Um, yeah, um, I think I'm, I'm all right at cat. Well, all right at catching, uh, especially under pressure. Um, my pass is all right. I can tip it away, get my offloads away. My longer passes are slightly more questionable, but as a whole, I thought I'd be quite generous and give an 82. What What do you like passing off your weaker? Are you you right handed or left handed? I'm right handed, but I actually think I'm better off my left because I practiced it more. Um, especially when I like obviously it was one of my downfalls so spent a lot of time you know just passing constantly off my left to the point where now I feel much more comfortable probably passing off my left than I do my right sometimes so it's, it's improving. Are you an advocate of torpedo passing where you're making sure that that, that spiral is perfect and it's spinning through the air or are you are you someone who just is like just get it out of my hands and get it into my my uh, teammates hands? I mean, you know, I, I like a little spin pass. I do like it to zip through the air, but how accurate that always ends up being is slightly questionable. Um, so again, like as long as, you know, you've got your hands up, got your follow through and it goes to where it needs to be, ideally quickest route possible, but as long as it gets to the player, then then that's good. Okay, so next one. This, again, I thought this would probably be something that you've you put quite highly up there on the list, is defence. Now, defence includes... Um, not just tackling, obviously, that's that's going to be quite a strong one, but positioning as well. And that's something that maybe uh, young players or new players wouldn't that they wouldn't be that familiar with and comfortable with. So this is actually, you've, you've gone really high on this one, 95 for defence. So why, tell us tell us why 95. Um, well, it's always kind of like a goal of mine to kind of have my completion above 95%. Um, throughout a championship for example um so it's something that I feel like I'm quite good at I'm quite good well obviously being a forward my space isn't as wide as the backs so for a relative position I'd say my defense is quite good uh, in the line as a forward um I think I'm quite good at getting off the line quite good at you know making that hit and making sure that you kind of stop them dead um it's always been more of a strong point in my game than other aspects and like you said it's not just the tackle, it can come down like defensive rocks. I love hitting a slow defensive rock uh, type thing. I definitely say my timing around that's one of my positives um, when it's on, when it's not, and being able to really slow down the opposition ball when you're in defence as well. So I voted quite high um, because I think personally for me, it's one of my stronger points in my game. I'd agree with you. I think 95, if we're looking out of 100 here, is what we would consider you to be probably one of the best in the world at that. Here's a question that I've always wanted to know. As someone who is so good at defence and someone who scores quite a lot of tries as well, I mean, certainly last last season you were one of the top try scorers in the Premier 15s. What gives you more satisfaction, smashing someone in defence or scoring a try? Um, I'd say smashing someone in defence gives me a lot more satisfaction, but sitting someone down from a ball carry, and if that leads to a try, is probably also just as big a satisfaction. Nice. Any any fond memories of sort of big hits that you've done and you just thought they're not getting up from that anytime soon? Or Yeah, there was actually a few when we played France in 2018. Um, you know, like France are renowned for the physicality. Obviously, I'd played a season in France and it was always going to be fun to then come up against them in the campaign. Um, and I think I definitely got a good few, few hits in that game um, that I'm really happy with. Definitely got off the line uh, and put in a good few few stoppers so yeah probably probably France 2018's some of my highlights okay cool this this next one's a fun one and this is this is one that I have a feeling as we do this series is going to <laughs> cause up a, a contentious a contentious topic probably for a lot of players kicking so the kicking out of a hundred <laughs> you put four yes now is... if you ask Gary Street he'd give me a hundred personally um I don't think my kicking game is as, as strong as it could be. I'll definitely work on that. But I feel like a four was probably the most accurate I could be with that. And that's all, that's across all kicking. That's kicking from hand. Kicking, surely, surely. I mean, like, I can root it quite far, but which direction it goes is another <laughs> question. And then I can grubber it all right, like maybe 20% of the time. 
um, drop kick, I kicked the floor. Um, so that's probably a no go. Conversions, not bad. Like they're not bad if they're slightly off from the posts or slightly in front of the posts. Um, and then a chip and chase. Like wait till you see my chip and chase one day. The ball goes behind me. So you I know. feel like you've been quite harsh here. I mean, you, the way the way you sold it, the way you sold it. You, I mean, you could. It sounds like you could potentially kick off a tee at least. I think we might have to reconsider this one. Um, okay, the next one's an interesting one. Skill. Now, skill we've included as uh, things like vision, footwork. So someone who um, I would consider to be a, a skillful player, someone potentially like Ken- Kendra Coxage. Um, you you put yourself as 90. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're, like, explaining it to me, it seems a bit high. Um, <laughs> what yeah. your, what's, your, what's your reasonings behind it? Um, I'd say that I can read the game quite well. Um, whether my actions follow through on that is a different matter. Um, but I'd say I read it quite well. I always try and think like a phase or two ahead um, to kind of see where I need to be, be in the best place for the next the next thing. Um, and then, yeah, what you do next is that, that's the debate there. Um, so, yeah, it's quite high. Probably was a bit generous on that too. Yeah, again, just looking at your kicking and looking at your, your skill attributes, I feel that there's... Maybe a bit of a disparity there. I feel we could bring your kicking up and potentially have your your skill level down. But listen, I appreciate the honesty. We like the honesty here on the Women's Rugby Show. And this is interesting as well because the next attribute is set pieces. Set pieces we've included as uh, line out scrums, I guess, probably not in your case, but moves. Mm -hmm. I would certainly personally, I would consider you to be one of the best scrummagers in the world. You put yourself at an 89 that's less than your skill level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe I got muddled up here. Um, yeah, so like I can clear up the back of a scrum quite well. Um, and then I'm definitely getting better at controlling the ball um, at the back. Um, but for everyone that knows me, probably knows that my love isn't really for line outs. Um, I definitely probably roll my eyes half the time when we have a line out session. Um, but again, it's a big part of the game, big part of the forwards game. But when you're usually out on the five-man lineouts, uh, chilling with the backs. You know, you don't really get involved in lineouts, so uh, to, like, which I'm grateful for, obviously. Um, but when you do have to be there, like, obviously, like, I, I don't mind uh, being involved in a lineout. Um, but definitely, I, pr- I would take scrumming over lineout any day. And like I said, you are probably considered to be one of the best scrummagers in the world. Uh, certainly, one of the best number eights. Um, what makes for, for, for those watching, for our, our viewers watching, what, what makes a good number eight? Um, just a bit of versatility, I suppose. Like, like there's so many different number eights out there and everyone brings something different. But I definitely say like patience in the scrum, like at the back, like definitely being able to control it, being able to know when it's on to move, like what you need to do to get it out. Um, work rate is a massive thing like you want to be all around the park you want to make a big impact both in attack and defense and just like having an all-round presence in a game really um you definitely get more evasive number eights you definitely get more powerhouse number eights and it varies but you know each part brings something special to the position and that brings us on nicely to our last attribute is stamina which we've, we've included work rate as well you've um this this has surprised me a little bit you raced yourself as an 85 which yeah, it's, I think would be a bit higher being a being a personal trainer as well. Like you've said, stamina though that's the thing. Um, I'm definitely the type of person that has to work really hard to be fit, um, and especially rugby fit. Like it doesn't come easy. Like um, I've definitely grown up um, having to really put the hard work in. None of it's come naturally to be um, athletic. Um, so for me personally, when it comes to stamina, it's slightly less. But my work rate and my mindset probably outplays that and brings it higher. And I know I've just got to keep fighting in a game. And then you find that second wind, you find that third wind, and you know that even if you're crawling off the park, you're going to get through it kind of thing. So I'd say my work rate outweighs my stamina, but they both come together hand in hand and you find a way through. Nice, nice. Well, look, that brings us to the end uh, of going through your Premier 15's ultimate team card. Would you like to know what your overall score is? I think we need to like lower the skills there and up the work rate, but you know. I think we do. I think we might have to relook it, but look, we, we will provide this to you to post on your social media and we'll put it on ours as well. So Jay Conkle, your average score for your Premier 15's ultimate team is 77. 
nice I'll take that it's not too bad it's not too bad I feel like you know we were generous here and there um quite happy with that and that looks pretty sick cool Jay thank you very much for joining us really great to chat through with you your your Premier 15 ultimate team before we go though we have one more task for you it is now your responsibility to pick anyone who you've played with teammate for club or country who is going to feature in our next ultimate team card so who, who's that going to be it's going to be Jodie Rettie, Saracens and Scotland player. We always have a joke about pace um, between the two of us, so it'll be interesting to see what she puts in there, but we're going to go for Jodie Rettie. Brilliant. Well, Jay, look, thank you very much for, for chatting with us. Most importantly, I hope you're well, I hope you stay safe, and hopefully we will see you on the pitches very, very soon. Perfect. Thanks for having me. So, folks, thank you very much for watching this very first episode of Premier 15's Ultimate Team. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you like the graphic that comes up. As always, I just want to say thank you so much for all your support here for the Women's Rugby Show on behalf of myself and all the team. For now, please, please stay safe, stay indoors. And I just want to extend um, a, an arm or extend a hand or whatever. Extend an invitation to anyone out there if you are struggling if you're alone, if you feel like you're isolated, please, please, please get in touch. We've got a big team here at the Women's Rugby Show and we would be happy to help, even if it's just to have a video chat or a call or a conversation or a message or something. We're here, we love you guys, we're, we're thankful for everything that you do for the show supporting us and we wanna do all we can to make sure that you are okay as well. So for now, thank you very much for watching. We'll leave this on a little bit longer so you can maybe watch some of our other videos. Please do not forget to like this video, follow us across social media, subscribe to the Women's Rugby Show YouTube channel. And now at a time where you're sitting at home and you're not doing anything and you've got friends and teammates that are sitting around, please just spread the word about the Women's Rugby Show. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe, stay well, and we look forward to bringing you more content. See you soon, folks. Bye.